Good morning, everyone. Wednesday morning, that means it's time for Edit Wednesday. Let's get into it. Today, we're gonna to be talking speed ramps. These allow you to smoothly ramp up your time and ramp down your time in your sequences. So this is a really great tool. You'll see a lot of people using this effect to emphasize a particular part of their video sequence. This is a great way to do that. Ramp up that timeline and then slow it way down to kind of emphasize a certain part of that or speed it way up. You know, you see that too a lot. People pan around an object, ramp that into a slow-mo for just a few seconds. This was kind of a cool little example of where to use a good speed ramp. And here's how we did that. So here we slow it down, boom, you see that flame pop and then it ramps back up to normal speed as it continues on. There's a few things that allow this effect to happen. Once you learn how to do this, it's very simple. You'll be using this all the time. It's a really cool effect. We have a section of the timeline that we sped up closer to real time, and then we slowed it down to give a more of a dramatic effect of that flame first igniting. Since you're slowing it way down, you're coming down below the frame rate that you're actually shooting at, you have to use some tools that are available in Resolve. This was found in other editing tools as well. It's called Optical Flow, which is a tool that smooths out footage being played back slower than its native frame rate. It's truly amazing, and we're gonna cover that in a future video. So let's take a quick look at how this breaks down. It's really easy. I've already done that to this clip, is I'm actually gonna skip to the next clip in this timeline to show how I got there. All I gotta do is take the clip that I wanna retime. I'm gonna right click on it, we we'll go to retime curve. We're not doing a retime frame, we're doing retime speed. So we're gonna click the drop down here and we're gonna select retime speed. And you'll see that that adds in an additional line to our timeline. Now it gets very simple. All we're doing is we're gonna find the place where we want to change that speed. We're gonna insert a keyframe. That's our little diamond here in the top right. And then we're gonna find where we want to come back out of that timing, another keyframe. Cool. Now that we have that, you can see it's very easy. You drag it up, that means we're speeding it up. That means the, the section of time here is, is, uh, is shortening up because it's, it's playing through it faster. And same if you go the other direction, if you wanna really slow that segment down, you see what it does. Now let's slow it down just for that effect. Now what you see here is when you're looking at your time, that's kind of a jarring speed change. So if we look at that and we play it back, you can notice it just jumps to that slow frame. What we really actually want to do is for that to happen slowly, and that's what a speed ramp really is. So to do that, select that keyframe, and on the top here, instead of choosing that linear uh, change in the speed, we're gonna change the curve here. And now you see it, it by default changes to a curved smooth flow. And you can change how fast it times into that from that faster speed to the slower speed or slower to faster, depending on which direction, just by dragging that out, simple as that. And we'll do the same thing on the other end. Choose curve, modify that effect slightly. When you play it back, it's going to, rather than just jump from slow speed to super slow speed or normal speed to really slow, whatever it is, it's gonna gradually go into that over that time and it gives a really smooth, cool effect as it plays through. Very simple, that's all we have to do. I'd like to point out one other thing. By default, you see the percentage is gonna be 300%. Well, a lot of times if you're slowing something down or speeding it up, you wanna go a larger percentage step than that. Well, how do you go more than 300? That's as high as it goes. Just grab here, you see when you hover over that 300% in the top left of that retime box, uh, you've got your left and right arrow icon here. Just grab that sucker, drag it out. All that does is it tells you what your scale is. Drag that guy up, same on the bottom, to work with the scale that you're actually working with. So be aware of that. Go make some speed ramps, enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll find it really adds a whole nother layer of depth to your editing, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So thanks for joining us for Edit Wednesday. Stay tuned for next week. And if you have ideas for future Edit Wednesdays you'd like to see for topics, leave that in the comments below. Thanks, guys.